In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got my toddlers for Christmas to fill up in their stockings. Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Danielle and if you're new here, I'm a mother of two. I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got last minute for their Christmas stockings. I have Jalen's and Jordan's and I am super excited to show you guys what I have for them. Okay, first I'm gonna be showing you guys what we got our three-year-old Jalen. He is spunky, he's silly, he loves cars and to get his hands dirty just like any other boy. So let's get into what we got him. For my family growing up, it was a tradition to always get a piece of fruit. I don't know if you guys have ever had family that did that, but we always got either an orange or an apple. So I'm gonna be putting that at the bottom of the stocking and hey, it's healthy, it's good, Jalen loves it. So we'll be doing that. Another thing I got was a play pack grab and go. These are so great because they have a sticker book, stickers, like coloring book, um, crayons. It's really helpful, especially if you're on the go. These are always fun to have. A lot of these things we got are from Target, so. Keep that in mind too if you're looking for cool things to get for your kid. We got this dinosaur scratch art. They can scratch off the black and create their own art. I'll probably have to help them with that, <laughs> but it's gonna be really fun. We got him was this really cool backhoe loader. He loves anything construction or like vehicles like this. And if you haven't seen my last video, there's two. It's a Bloopy construction party. Go ahead and check that out. There's a link. And it's really fun if your kid loves that. It's so, it came, it came out so great, you guys. Anyways, this is really cool. We got this at Target. I like it because it moves and like there's movable parts. So you can actually use it and it makes noise. Isn't that cute? I just gonna love this. <laughs> clay he's never had this before he's had play-doh he's had slime and other similar things but this will be different and then i believe you can like leave this out to dry oh it won't dry out so that's cool we can reuse it but most likely he's going to turn this all like one color eventually and probably pretty fast but it'll still be really fun all right bath time we got this really cool body wash pen we've never had anything like this so this will be cool and it is wild blueberry scent all right we all love that one section when you first walk into target and they have all those things like three dollars and under i found this silly scents sand and this is apple scent so i think he is gonna love this and now that he has all his tractors and things that he got from his birthday, this is gonna be perfect. He has other sand too, but this is a different color and it smells good too. Okay, we got this really cute Peppa Pig nightlight. He loves Peppa Pig. He loves George and the, his little dinosaur and like he just thinks they're so cute and fun. So it's really cool. You twist it, it lights up. He can like use this at night and have it either in his bed or next to his bed. He's not afraid of the dark or anything, but I think this will be fun for him. And the last thing is gonna be something yummy. I always do this because we don't really wanna give him too much candy. So I have these little cheese and crackers and fruit roll up. I think these will be fun for him. He's never had this yet, so I think he's gonna find this really yummy. Okay, now we're moving on to my one and a half year old Jordan. Now, Jordan was born early at 33 weeks, so he's still more like, like a one year old, like still in that kind of baby phase. Um, he, he's getting better, but he's just a little behind. So I wanted to be really careful what I got him. Um, you guys will see, it's just very minimal and things that are practical for him. So one of the things that we decided to get was because he also watches Peppa Pig with Jalen is I found these at the dollar store. Aren't these so cute? So we have the daddy pig and little George and it's so cute because it's like a set and he loves his daddy. You guys all day long, all Jordan says is daddy, dad, 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 all day. It's never mama. It's okay though. I'm glad he loves his daddy. And so these are super cute. 
And we also wanted to get him a little nightlight too. Now, I don't know if I'll let him hold this or anything. He, he is so smart though. Like he could probably take this thing apart. This kid has destroyed so many things on my tree. I made it look nice for you guys, but usually there's no ornaments from here down. <laughs> so we got him Mickey Mouse because he likes Mickey. Moving on to like the practical kind of thing. He needs socks. His feet are growing. He's still little, but there's certain parts of him that are just growing like a weed, like his feet. So I got him these cute little socks. I think there's, I don't know, six pairs in here. So this will be really good, but they're really, really cute. And I think these will be really great for him. Jordan loves books. He loves to have a book read to him every night. We read the books separately to our kids because they're on different levels. I mean, I could read one, but why not just read two and have like a, a more like the board books for Jordan. So we got him this one. It's Solar System. You can find this on Amazon. It's so cute. I love how bright and colorful it is and it's short because you know these little ones they don't have a very long attention span and then that way i can kind of point out and teach him the planets and whatever else is in here i haven't fully looked at it but oh yeah this is really great i'm super happy with this book oh, this is my favorite i love saturn <laughs> anyways this is really cool and this is like something that'll help him learn something too last things i got him were something to eat i I'm just trying to be pr practical and like things that are going to be good for him and, and stuff. So I did get him these animal crackers by Gerber and I got him yogurt melts. He hasn't had these in a really long time. So I know he's going to love these. He's my little snacker, just like Jalen. So I know that these are going to go probably faster than I think. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go wrap some of these things to make it more fun when they open up their stockings. I've never done that before. This will be a first. I think it'll be really exciting because Jalen loves to unwrap things and Jordan is so destructful. I'm sure he'll get a kick out of it too. So let's go wrap some gifts. It's all Tell me if you're with me whenever you're trying to fill your children's stockings it's like playing tetris it's a game you have to just try and get everything in there and sometimes it doesn't actually work out you will see that when i do jordans i will show you guys If you plan on buying something on the larger side, I do recommend measuring your stocking to make sure that it's going to fit or testing it out before you actually consider that a stocking stuffer. Because as you can see, that book does fit, but I won't be able to fit anything else. So I am going to end up just putting it next to the stocking on Christmas morning, but it still came out great. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you got some great stocking stuffer ideas. Uh, a lot of our stuff was on the lower end in the price range, but the kids are going to love them no matter what. So don't forget that. You don't have to go super expensive. And I would say that if you have older kids and they are pretty smart and like observant, don't wrap it in the same paper that you're wrapping their other gifts because that's how I found out for me. <laughs> so don't let your kids watch this video either anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and like and we'll see you in the next one